Right, Patrick, and that percent positivity rate is nearly as high as we have seen since the pandemic began. And tonight, experts tell us it's just another indicator of how widespread this virus is. A troubling look tonight from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Statewide, nearly 35% of all COVID-19 tests are coming back positive, among the highest total since March. Numbers vary by county, but all show significant spread. Think about it like this. Milwaukee County's positivity rate over the last seven days is a little more than 17%. That means in this row of 10 cars, two cars are going to test positive on average for COVID-19. You hear those kinds of things and, and you wonder when you'll ever be able to have kids in buildings, when you'll ever be able to, to kind of go to the store and kind of feel secure. Elsewhere, numbers are even higher. Waukesha County's seven-day positivity rate is more than 40 percent. Four in 10 people there getting tested are positive for COVID-19. Darren Rausch with the Greenfield Health Department. Certainly we know we can shrink the percent positivity with more testing. But if our testing is already at its capacity, the high percent positivity is really indicative of the disease just running rampant in our community. Roush says positivity percentage shows us how much the virus has spread and if we're testing enough. He worries the percentage of positive cases may continue climbing, especially after the holidays. Certainly I have some, some grave concerns about what the Thanksgiving holiday will bring. And then we turn the page four weeks later and we look at the religious holidays in December, Hanukkah, Christmas, etc. We could be on an upward climb for the next four to six weeks. And ben, some of those numbers you mentioned are near record highs. So where do experts say we need to be? Well, Patrick, health experts we spoke to say that 5% positivity rate, basically one in 20 COVID-19 tests coming back positive, is a good target to hit. And that also follows guidance from the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization. Though, Patrick, Wisconsin hasn't seen 5% positivity rates among COVID tests since late June.